Hey guys, the following review is going to be in the Walmart exclusive Headmaster Autobot Brainstorm. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to do our first Walmart exclusive retro Headmaster Autobot Brainstorm. Now this is the, basically it is a Titans Return repackage with a new head. Of the Autobot Brainstorm, which was the blur mold, but they repackaged them in G1 boxes, and they've got the name Headmaster now instead of Titan Master. First, we'll take a look at the box. Includes Snap-on weapon and accessory, and it's got Autobot Arcana Headmaster now, and not Titan Master. And this one's got the smile and not the faceplate, like in the Japanese series. And there is some cool artwork of Brainstorm, and then you have him in four steps. The UPC on the bottom, Autobot Brainstorm. There's this side. There's that side. And on the back, you have the old Season uh, 3 or 4 G1 um, poster. It is a world of constant change where things are not what they seem. It is the world of the Transformers, a world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons. You got the big Fort Max for Scorponok and all the Headmasters and Target Masters. There's Brainstorm right there. And then you have is tech spec. So if you want to pause it right there, you can pause it. Function, biomechanical engineer, the strongest tyrant cannot crush freedom of thought. So full of ideas that he often begins disclosing a new one before he finishes explaining an old one. Alright, now let's rip this package open carefully and see what we've got. Yeah, now that we got Brainstorm out of the box, first we're going to take a look at the directions. It is Headmaster Autobot Brainstorm. And this just tells you it comes with the gun. The front is attachable and Arcana. You can put the gun on the side. <clears throat> and if you take this off, flip it over, the gun will fit there. Now these directions are a little strange because what it has you doing is taking off the front of the vehicle putting Arcana in and then attaching it to the side so this is what you have you have uh, like another ship with this attached to the side and we're going to show that later and then we have the directions on how to transform him now one note <clears throat> most of your reviewers will do vehicle to robot mode I happen to like to do it as they come packed and this guy just happens to be packed in vehicle mode so that's what we're gonna start at <clears throat> okay first we'll take a look at his weapon it is that teal green it's a little detailed up top a little detail on the bottom it's got a five millimeter peg it's got a hole right there and that is the gun <clears throat> pretty neat and this is the arcana figure uh, let's see. I don't know if we can get real close without losing clarity. He's got a yellow sculpted face. He's got a gray body. He's got blue arms and legs. There's the upside down headmaster face. Now it's the Japanese face with the mouth because normally Brainstorm doesn't have an actual mouth. And his articulation is the arms go up only that high. The head does a 360. There's the other arm and the legs will bend back. And they'll be able to sit like that and do fold forward. And to transform him, you just do this. And there is Brainstorm's <clears throat> head. And one thing I want to take a look at to see if this is Blast compatible. And it is. Because the Titans Return line did not have the Blast effects. But this is, oh yeah, Blast compatible too. Good. Now, let's look at Autobot Brainstorm. Now, for worse or for better, this is a blur remold. I was kind of hoping they would do, a, since they did Trigger Happy, they did all the other jets, they had to, instead of making him a, a new mold, they just copied the blur mold with a little remolding. But, here is the front of the vehicle. And this is a little landing gear for when you do it in his, I don't know, I guess armored mode, which we'll show you next. He's got the two guns here. Uh, let's see, he's got the cockpit. 
there's a little seat again this is blur so there's a space it's not completely closed in which for a spaceship makes no sense uh, he's got the gray all along here he's got the little Autobot symbols now when these were packed these are some of these are backwards I had to pop these off and put them on the other way around so the Autobot symbols up top you got the little fin of course that's with blur at the whole back of the car so basically that is blur right there um, back doesn't look that bad and then you have a uh, let's see can we look inside the cockpit it's a uh, little detailed you have a little seat right there though um, bottom now <laughs> these wings are just for the robot mode they're stationary they won't move it's just they did that just to get the old brainstorm effect and you got a little wheel there and two more wheels here so he does roll pretty good there you go <clears throat> uh, and then what you can do is put the gun like that the peg goes into that and then you have that hole for that and you put the peg in there and you have a third gun like that or you can do five millimeter peg on the side like that and what we're gonna do now is stick our canna what you want to do is get him in a sitting position like that and he just sits in there nice and snug and now our canna is flying brainstorm into battle and that is the beauty of the headmasters now they did rename them type masters so the original ones were Headmasters for the heads, Target Masters for the guns, and Power Masters for the engines. That's why this is the retro 1980s type box where you got the Headmaster logo, Autobot Brainstorm, and Four Steps. Okay, now let's compare him to some of the other vehicles we have. First vehicle to vehicle, we're going to bring in Chrome Dome and Stylor. Now... His gun came with two, um, same, almost similar in, um, similar in texture, and uh, that to Brainstorm, Doros and Hardhead, and this is Mindwipe and Vorath. Now these are the original Titan Return figures, not the Walmart exclusives. <clears throat> this is the Voyager Snapdragon. And that is a big difference in Voyager and um, Deluxe. And this is Cyclonus Voyager. Again, I just want to bring some cool space jets. <coughs> and now, <clears throat> this is the 30th anniversary Brainstorm. Now, this was Brainstorm. He's got the multiple guns up front. You know, he's got everything looks different. He's got these wings and these wings. And there's the back. So you can see what this was the first attempt at upgrading Brainstorm was. And this is the newest one. So that's why when later on we see these are fake wings. They're meant to be these in robot mode. But I don't know how I feel about this guy anymore. Because this guy I'm appreciating more and more. And that is it for the vehicle to vehicle modes. And this, we can put this here, like that. Or he's compatible, and you can put it there. Okay? And that is it for those, uh, all the comparisons. So, before we transform into robot, we're going to do what the first part of the instructions say. Now, here's what they say <clears throat> you want to detach these, just unpeg it from there unpeg this side okay this you can pull up but then all you do to detach this is you pull this straight up there are those two slots and these two tabs and we'll just put that like that <clears throat> and then we're gonna put these back like that and then when you come here <clears throat> you can put Arcana in the seat like that this goes here and here's where you want to get out this little landing gear. Which way does it go out? It goes out like that. And they have you putting the peg 
here. And this is the other mode. Now, if you want to see it in the instructions, you know, the two arms are not quite pulled back in yet. So you don't really have the legs pulled back in because they pull them out. But I guess this is what it looks like. And that is... And then he rides off into battle. So, I mean... So you got the wheels here. Whoops! <clears throat> and this doesn't, doesn't really snap in. There, he doesn't really snap in, but that is his <clears throat> alt battle mode, I guess. So now let's just put him back to where we were before in vehicle mode. <laughs> now, like I said, most reviewers start in vehicle mode, but that doesn't help when you're stuck trying to transform the guy and you don't know how if he comes packaged in robot mode. So, <clears throat> here is what we have right now. So, <clears throat> vehicle mode, first I'm gonna transform Arcana. And there he is with his nice smiley face. That's from the Headmaster cartoons. So, untab these, that tab goes into that slot <clears throat> right there and get these out of the way. And this, we're just going to transform it with it on right now. You could take it off or put it on. We're just going to leave it on for right now to show you it could be done. But <clears throat> while we're here, we're just going to flip the seat down and that forms his abdomen. Let's move the camera up. <clears throat> now for the feet. A uh, very familiar design. Pull these panels out. Swing the whole feet back. Separate them. This tail fin folds in. You fold that. Fold the feet down. Now the feet's new. And again, you got two slots, two tabs. Usually, which you, usually you take the foot and you're folding it inside, but this one's a little different. <clears throat> so now we got half the figure. <coughs> And now, for this part, what you want to do is we're going to fold these up, fold these over, and then you're going to twist the arms or rotate the arms, and you're going to have this tab go into that slot, and the arm is just going to fit in like that. Again, you've got this tab to that slot, and then... <clears throat> There you have Brainstorm. And you could you could have the backpack on. And then we're just going to put the Headmaster on. Now he's really called the Headmaster. <clears throat> and then you could put his gun in his hand. And now we are done with Brainstorm. <clears throat> and do I like him? Eh. Like I said, I wish they've done so many planes on the Target Masters, but for him, they just stuck a, a remold of Blur. So here are those two fake wings like that. Here's his two other wings. Let's look at his face. I don't know how I like the mouth. I like hit the, the other face with the face mask better, but this is how he was in the Japanese cartoons. You got that wing right there. You got the other wing, which you could either rotate these back. Going down the arm. He's got the blue hand. He's got the gray and white. Again, he's got more of that blue, the yellow. I kind of wish he had an Autobot symbol on his chest, but he doesn't. Uh, blue hand again, going down. And there is a... You could actually, you could actually weaponize these guys like that if you wanted to. I don't think they meant to do that, but... Going down the legs, you got that sticker of the different colors. You got the white and the gray. I like how they do the white and the gray. They contrast, but then they blend together pretty good. And that's just lazy painting. They got the white there, but the front of it is blue. You got the gray legs. I do like how you have that. The wheel looks like the joint. And on the back, if you want this, just pull it off. But then you have this in his back. And there's not much you can do. You can keep it like that. There's not much you can do with it like that if you take it off. Let's see, articulation. These headmasters do move 360. They move a little up and down. The arm will do a whole 360. 
uh, they'll go up like this. You got the elbow swivels 360 degrees, and you got bend 90 degrees, and this little piece is common to blur. And the hands do rotate 360. Like I said, you can rotate this. Again, you can rotate the arm, goes out, swivel, 90 degree bend. You can do them 360 at the waist. Let's see, feet, goes up, <clears throat> goes back, does the full split. You kind of, you got a, um, a upper thigh swivel, but no knee swivel. And the knee is more than 90 degrees. And the feet just go up and down. They kind of hide the wheel, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> and let's make them like that. And if you want the five millimeter slot, you can put this on here, which I don't know. Either it is a big gun or it's a shield. Oh, wait, you have, oh, I know what you do. This is different. You have, they have this pegging into the arm. So basically, see, but then you have, but then you have clearance issues there. So you can make it be a shield but then you have clearance issues. So, and that is what he looks like with his shield or a double gun. Like I said, or you can do that, or you can just do this. Either way, but the instructions, actually the box has it doing that. All right, and that is Brainstorm. Uh, let's do some robot to robot comparisons real quick. And our first robot to robot, we're going to bring in Chrome Dome. Now, this is the Titans Return version. And these are all going to be the fellow Wave 1 of the Retro Headmasters. This is Hardhead, again, with the original face for the Titan Returns. And here is Mind Wipe. That's how those guys compare. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring in a Voyager Ape Fate, or um, Snapdragon. Just to show you the difference between a Voyager and a Deluxe figure. And this is the Cyclonus Voyager. He's a little bigger. Obviously, he's a tall Voyager. And then last, this is the Brainstorm 30th Anniversary Generations Edition. Now, that is a big difference between Brainstorm and then just taking Blur and remolding him. But this was how the original uh, Brainstorm kind of looked. Any further, I'm going to bring in my 30th anniversary edition of Brainstorm. We're going to compare the heads. <clears throat> okay, this is Brainstorm from the 30th edition. This was more like the cartoon than this one. So you got the smiley face or you got the faceplate. Now this one... <laughs> was their first attempt at bringing back the Headmasters. But look how the arms are so clunky. Now, I actually had a review on this guy, too, which I'll add below. I decided to do this guy a little while ago for review. So, but just to compare the two Arcanas. Now, I don't have any of the original 80s Headmasters. I kind of, I was the 80s kid where I outgrew them when the Headmasters came out. But then when I started having kids myself, I decided to go back and... Start collecting them. And we'll just stick this guy in here. Now what's cool about this guy too is you've got the old uh, stats like that. But so this is how they try to take a blur and make them into Brainstorm. Again, I, I wish they would have done a, just a completely renew mold. Maybe do like trigger, hacky, trigger Happy or Double Cross. Because they did do several new designs for the target for the Titans Returns line, but <clears throat> this is what we got right now. Um, very similar. You got the yellow kind of window. You got the blue color scheme. This has more blue in it. This doesn't. Um, again, they try to do the fake fins right here, but they didn't color this one. And this attaches. You can't take this off, but. 
This is where you store his guns on this guy. So, but that's enough of that guy. <clears throat> and this is Blur. I This was one of the only Titan Return figures that I did not get. I believe he was a Walgreens special. And I just never got him for some reason. But we did get all the others. And we're going to transform him back right now. Which will take the head off. There we go. Sometimes these heads are on tight. We're going to transform this guy. Make sure the head goes forward. We'll put the arms up just a little. And there is Arcana. <clears throat> and to transform this, we're just going to close the fists up. Rotate these around. Like that. I think we're just going to work on the bottom first. Fold these up. And these just pop out like that. Pop out like that. Make sure you swing this around. This slides. Oops. Oh, it's a mushroom joint. There you go. That slides into that tab, that tab. Again, one of the few figures where you don't have to rotate it around. And it sits like that. And then what you want to do is you got two two tabs right back here, or two slots right back here, and these two tabs. And then you also got a tab up here, which will fit into, I guess they don't really fit in. Oh, they just sit like that. So there you go. That's done. And then these, you just want to untab them. And then when you fold the wings, this tab will go into that slot like that. Again, you pull this down. There you go. Pull that in. And then what we want to do is bring this up. Before we do that, we'll slide this in again. Those two slots slide right in here. And you have these two tabs will go into those slots. Like that. And then tab these in there. Tab these in there. And now you have a spaceship with an open air cockpit. <laughs> so again, you know, that's my biggest gripe. I wish they would have just done a new mold, but I'm glad we got Brainstorm. And that is Brainstorm back together again. And so you got the two guns up here, but in my 30th anniversary, they detached, so you just got that. But here, there's they're, uh, one piece, and then you can put this like that. And now you're back to um, Brainstorm as a spaceship slash. I wonder if I'll fit these in. Oh, and you can use these. I'm surprised. They're 5 millimeter pegs on the 30th edition too. So let's just combine all of them. And you can use all your Battle Masters. Here we go. How's that for uh, Brainstorm? Huh? Pretty good? Or, let's see, put them in the bottom of the hands. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is, oh yeah. All right. He's an airplane anyway. So, you don't have to worry about them being too low. How's that, huh? So now he's really armored up by using guns from the other brainstorm. So, that is it for this review of the Headmaster. I'm glad they went back to Headmaster, Autobot, Brainstorm. Now, sometimes you'll see Autobot there because the regular name, Brainstorm, they couldn't copyright again because they waited too long or they couldn't copyright it. So, that's why they stick an Autobot in front of it. You'll see that once in a while. But, that explains that. And, uh, I guess that's it. I'm not sure if I'll get any of the other headmasters since I own them all already with their Titans Returns. But for now, uh, this review is done. So, please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Check out my other videos. I will put a link to the 30th edition Brainstorm. And I'm not sure if I did all of my Titan Returns figures. I don't know if I was doing reviews back then or not. But I should have them done. Um, let's see. Open this cockpit up. So, like I said, like, subscribe. 
Uh, check me out on Facebook. I'm under like Transformers Addicts Generation 1. There's a whole bunch of Facebook pages I keep in track of. YouTube, all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, Rodimus Bill. All right, and uh, as Brainstorm and Arcana once said, two heads are better than one. So Brainstorm, out. <laughs>